both fast team, Micah and Hannah Diaz, were actually nice enough to let me crash on their couch last night so I wouldn't have such a long drive this morning. So shout out to them. Thank you guys so much. You guys saved me a couple hours of sleep. Jumps right so what are you going to do with that bumper? I don't know. 
Are you gonna put it on before you leave? So I'm the third I'm the third the third teammate, right? You're looking you're looking for a third teammate, right? No. I said Dang! You're talking to Jeff Groff. I, Jeff I, put my, Groff. I put my application in. I freaking love the way this thing looks now. And like now I don't have to be careful when I'm putting my wheels in my car. I could just like freaking like drag it on here like no It was a rough day today, but it's okay. I destroyed it, but that was a, that's why I built it, so <laughs> Okay, and cut. Yay! So you guys, I just got home from Adams Motorsports Park. As you can see, I had a very rough driving day today. Um, I did a lot of dirt dropping, destroyed my back bumper, which is fine because that's why I built this car, was to be able to destroy it and push my limits. But the unfortunate part is that I have to get my car wrapped tomorrow, so now that means I have to source another back bumper so that my wrap guy can wrap the car properly tomorrow. So that's going to be a little bit of a hassle, but that's okay. Um, I had a rough day today, but you know what, I honestly think that it's the car's setup. I think, number one, the gearing is totally wrong for low speed stuff. I'm very hard to drive at Adam, so I don't think that I'll be taking this car to Grange until I change my gearing. And then number two, the boost lag on this car is ridiculous. This car does not hit boost until 4,500 RPM, and when it hits boost, it goes all the way to boost because I'm only running 10 pounds. It was just a mess, but you know what? It's okay, I'm still learning. This is my first time ever building a drift car, so it's good because now I know these couple things that I need to change. I need to get an aftermarket ECU so that I can have my car tuned so the turbo lag won't last for so long. And then also I know that I need to change my gearing. So the good news is if I can do that research, do that stuff while my car is being wrapped, Sorry if the footage was a little bit choppy today. We had a very limited amount of time at Adam, so I didn't get to do a lot, whole lot of vlogging. I'm gonna wrap up here. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna do that. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>